today, I'm going to help you learn about the multimedia principle. Well, I'm not exactly going to help you out because I kind of wanted to get it in a quick run. My friend Ryan, he's an expert. It's a little bit cold, but he'll get the job done. I know he helped me out a lot. So, Ryan, take it away. The multimedia principle states that when you use words and pictures, there is improved learning. After watching this video you should be able to define the multimedia principle. Understand why the combination of text and graphics aids in learning. Evaluate e-learning content for effective application of the multimedia principle. Richard Mayer states that words and graphics are more conducive to learning rather than just text or graphics. The theory is based on the idea that learners learn better when they engage in relevant cognitive pressing such as attending to the relevant material in the lesson. The rationale for the multimedia is that learners engage in active learning as graphics make mental connections with words and graphics. With words alone, learners may engage in shallow learning. This does not have any connections. Studies have shown that there are two main channels that we use to process information, the auditory and visual channel. The auditory channel processes sounds that we hear while the visual channel processes things that we see. By combining these two process studies have shown that to the learners, learning will be more in-depth and stay in the learner's memory longer. Their studies have also shown that too many visuals or too much text can overload the learner so there needs to be a balance between the two and they should always relate so they do not confuse the learner's learning process. Studies reveal that students who receive multimedia instruction utilizing words in pictures perform better on subsequent transfers tests than those taught in words alone. Will any graphics help you might ask? No. Decorative graphics do not aid in learning. Let's see some examples of different types of graphics. A decorative graphic is an element that does not help you understand the text. Which of the following is a decorative graphic? If you picked a good for you. Picture B gives us instructional information. A representational graphic gives just a picture and a title. An organizational graphic relates two elements. A relational graphic shows the quantitative relations between the graphics. A transformational graphic shows visuals. Now I'm going to ask you a question to see what you have learned. Which of the following choices show hair makes a learning effect of using multimedia? The correct answer is E. That is text and relevant pictures. Let's briefly look back at the core of what we learned today. Mayer says that words and graphics working together are good. You must keep the audience in mind when selecting your graphics and text. It is best to keep your design with the intentions of maximum potential for the student to learn. Well, my job for today is done. Hope I could help. I'm giving it back to Jordan. Wow, I'm exhausted. But I hope Ryan can help you out. <sighs> I'm gonna hop in the shower, but just remember, this is a multimedia principle. It's helpful for learning.